Before I start the video, copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976 on YouTube. I do not own any of this. Their properties and their trademark belong belong to their respectable owners. So let's get started on a video. Hello everyone. In today's review, I'm going to be doing a documentary review on a Cenozoic documentary. And it is Prehistoric Predators Original Channel National Geographic. It is a documentary that's released on August 19th to November 7th in the year 2007. So here's a little bit of history on Prehistoric Predators documentary. Now, now with that done, let's get started on prehistoric animals' appearance in the episodes. There are some that had their first appearance. Here we have the North American species, Smilodon fatalis, or also known as saber-toothed cat, and the Colombian mammoths, and Megalonyx, also known as the Jefferson's ground sloth. And here we have bison antiquus, or also known as ancient bison. And Canis deerus, or also known as the dire wolf. And here we have Arctotus simius, also known as the short faced bear. And also Panthera atrox or also known as the American Lion. And prehistoric horses are Equus cadencitus, also known as the Mexican Horse, first appearance in the documentary. And here we have Mesohippus, an ancestor of horses, first appearance in the documentary. Protobotherium. A species of camel without humps. You know, camels without humps on the on their backs. You know what I'm talking about. No dirty jokes. Subharakudon, a hornless rhino. And here we have Mericordidon, or their popular name also known as Oriodon or Oriodonts for short and here we have Hynodon Hortus and here we have Archaeotherium or also known as the Hell Pig and here we have Dynictus also known as the False Sabertooth Cat and here we have Daodon, also known as the Terminator Pig. And Moropus, an extinct species of Paracidactyls, a Calicathere, and first appearance in a documentary before Monster Reconstructed was released on the year 2009. And here we have the Bear Dog, also known as Emphasion Ingens. And here we have Clankin, second largest terror bird, and first appearance in the episode of the documentary. And here we have Homolototherium, an extinct species of Nato ungulate, and close relative of the Toxodont. And a Glyptodont. And first appearance in its name is Paraprilihoclocoves. 
if I if I know how to pronounce it correctly. And one of the long, longest names for this glintodont. And the North American species of terror bird. And it is Titanus wallari. Hyperion, an extinct species of horse. Canis edwardii, or known as the Edwards wolf. A smaller ancestor was going to be evolved into dire wolves. And here we have Smilodon gracilis, a smaller ancestor to the saber toothed cat that will evolved into Smilodon fatalis and Populadar. And here we have Megalodon, an extinct species of Ododont Ododontid sharks. Which megalodon is not is not a close relative of great whites. It's more closely related to odontids, an extinct species of. And an extinct species of baleen whale, Cetotherium. And scordodon, an extinct species of scordodonte or known as shark tooth dolphins. Well, that's pretty much it for prehistoric predators. And it's one of my personal favorite Cenozoic animal documentary. But, however, I wish they could have kept the series much longer and have a lot of seasons. Well, I guess it's unlikely that they would ever do a season two of Prehistoric Predators, because they're never going to do it again. Anyways, like and subscribe, hit the bell to get notified for new videos, and make sure you don't miss another one. Until next time, on next on Prehistoric Animals Appearances in Documentaries, Films, and Video Games. See you later, guys.